Shocking revelations of a bungled child sex abuse inquiry have convinced the Catholic Church to reopen investigations. Four Corners broke the story, revealing documents that allege a priest confessed to church officials he'd been abusing children. But that information wasn't passed on to police. New South Wales detectives are now involved, and more than 30 years on, they're urging victims to come forward. It's the confession the Catholic Church said never took place. This letter, aired on Four Corners, details the abuse of several Moree boys at the hands of a local priest in the 1980s. The priest, who for legal reasons is known only as Father F, is alleged to have told a church panel about his abuses in 1992. He admitted that there had been five boys around the age of 10 and 11 that he had sexually interfered with in varying degrees between 1982 and 1984. That contradicts statements from all three panel priests who denied Father F made any confessions, a denial that was backed by the church. The uh, file note of that meeting uh, shows that, uh, does not show that he made any admission, and that is the recollection of the three priests. The Catholic Church has now changed its tune. The Archdiocese of Sydney is seeking further information about the 1992 meeting. Victim support groups say that's not good enough. Any investigation should be done by the police or preferably by a royal commission, a national royal commission. The church should keep out of this. The church cover-up has been going on for too long. Under legislation, any confession of child sexual abuse should have been passed on to police. Authorities are now involved. The New South Wales Police Force has reviewed the Four Corners story. In order to investigate claims of child sexual abuse, police require any victims to come forward. We strongly urge all persons to come forward. Father F is still living in New South Wales and is yet to face many of the child sex abuse allegations made against him. Letitia Lemke, ABC News, Sydney. And a postscript to that story, the Sydney Archdiocese has just issued a statement saying it doesn't accept claims that its priests have failed to disclose alleged crimes committed by Father F. It's welcomed an announcement today by the Bishop of Armidale, Michael Kennedy, that he's appointing an independent expert to review all records.